look up the Free State Project. We'll be a political Andy today. I mean, I have curly hair. Maybe I can be Hassan. The Free State Project. Welcome to the world's largest community of pro-liberty thinkers and activists. Are you tired of government always getting bigger? Do you feel like the only person around who wants to be free? You are not alone. What is the Free State Project? The Free State Project is a movement of thousands of freedom-loving people to New Hampshire. We welcome people who already live in New Hampshire as well as those who haven't moved yet. More than 4,800 participants are already in New Hampshire and about 19,000 more have pledged to move. By concentrating our numbers, we're turning the tide against a big gov government. Excuse me. Plus, Free Staters have built an incredible community full of people who value liberty and responsibility. Oh, Ludwig's here? What up, Ludwig? We're, we're just talking about politics again. Now, Ludwig is a Free Stater. You know that he's actually from the Northeast. He's actually mentioned that he's tired of big government. He says now that he makes a lot of money, he doesn't want other people suckling off his teat. He said it. Would you take the political compass quiz on stream? Sure. Is there one? Is it good? If you take the political compass test, please take the sapley one. Sapley political compass test. Freedom of big business is the best practical way to a society we can prosper. I uh, kind of disagree. Charity is a better way of helping those in need than social welfare. Strongly disagree. Organizations and corporations cannot be trusted and need regulation by the government. Strongly agree. Wages are always fair, as big businesses know what a worker's labor is worth. Strongly disagree. That This is the most insane statement. Can I... Is there a more strong one than strongly disagree? Big businesses know best what a labor's, worker's labor is worth. Fucking Pepe laugh, dude. Holy shit. Maybe they do know what labor... They know what labor they can get away with. It is human nature to be greedy. Uh, uh, no opinion either way, I guess. Kind of disagree. I guess you can fight it. If it's human nature to be greedy, I think you can fight that easily. So maybe it's not human nature. I think that maybe humans are inherently initially greedy, but I think we can easily subvert that. Kind of agree, maybe. I'm going to go no opinion. I just don't know. That one's a tough one. Exploitation is an outdated term as the struggles of 1800s capitalism don't exist anymore. Fucking Pepe laugh again. Some of these questions are so silly to me. Class is the primary division of society. Class is the primary division of society. Kind of agree. Economic inequality is too high in the world. Strongly agree. Okay, one page done. Answer as if you were living in society like everyone's live under, not how people should do things in the society you currently live in. Gotta, 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 gotta. Sometimes it is right that the government may spy on its citizens to combat extremists and terrorists. Uh, I don't want to get bombed, but I think that's so infrequent. I think that's so infrequent. Would I personally give up some of my privacy? Yes. Do I think that everyone should be forced to give up some of their privacy? Absolutely not. So I think I need to... Yeah, this is tough. This is a really tough one for me. This is a really tough one for me. I understand the Patriot Act. I get it. I don't think that any citizen should have to give up their privacy. I would choose to give up a little bit so that if I did get radicalized, I couldn't kill my countrymen people around me that's all i'm saying do you do you kind of understand what i mean yeah this is one where i don't necessarily like toe the party line the question says sometimes ah uh, yeah i think kind of agree then i think oh sorry not strongly kind of agree i think it's if it's sometimes often spying is the weirdest take i've ever heard <laughs> welcome to the fucking show brother i have very unique political opinions and i hold them till the day i die <laughs> If you give government the sometimes, it will use the always. I mean, I agree with that too, but this says sometimes. This is a perfect society. Imagining as if you're living in the society you'd like everyone to live under. My perfect society. Only the government can fairly and effectively regulate organizations. Yeah, I kind of agree. Without democracy, a society is nothing. Kind of agree. Yeah, I strongly agree. Jury nullification should be illegal. Jury nullification should be illegal. Jury nullification should be illegal. The jury nullification is what? The fact that a jury can agree that um, someone is guilty but shouldn't be charged? Is that jury nullification? I have a political science degree, but I'm, I'm out of practice. Jury nullification occurs, yeah, or returns a, a verdict of not guilty despite its belief the defendant is guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I knew exactly what fucking jury nullification was. I'm so fucking smart. So that's when the jury says not guilty even though they think he's guilty, you know? Should be legal. Uh, I kind of agree because of democracy, right? Yeah, I think that a uh, jury of your peers might should be able to say you're legal. Now, the opposite should not be true, right? They should not be able to say guilty when you're not guilty. <laughs> right? What if the laws are unjust? Yeah, exactly. Not all laws are moral. Sir gets it. Sir gets it. Yeah, I strongly agree, actually. I strongly agree. The police was not made to protect the people to uphold the status quo by force. Strongly agree. State schools are a bad idea because our state shouldn't be influencing our children. Kind of disagree. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. 
strongly disagree. Homosexuality is against my values. Strongly disagree. Transgender individuals should not be able to adopt children. Strongly disagree. Two consenting individuals should be able to do whatever they want with each other, even if it makes me uncomfortable. Strongly agree. An individual's body... Uh, well, two consenting adults. This definitely needs to say adults. Hey, Lucas North in the UK, whoever made this test, that you really, you really, really need to say adults, man. You need to say adults. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, I'm just saying this. I don't want to get gotcha I don't want to get gotcha chat. <laughs> Kids don't count as people. And that's why you can eat them. We all get it, right? An individual's body is their own property and should be able to do anything they desire to it. Uh, yeah, I pretty much agree. Yeah, strongly agree. Like, should a person be able to kill themselves? Like, let's say a person has mental illness. Does the mental illness mean that, uh, you know, we should, like, the state has, like, a right, not a right, but has, like, a duty to try and give them the care that they need? That's tough. That's tough. I'm saying that question is so much more strongly worded than the others. It's like, if you answer, agree, you're off right, you're going mask off. <laughs> like, physician-assisted suicide on a terminally ill patient. Yeah, that should be totally fine. But let's say someone has uh, dementia. Can they consent to physician-assisted suicide? That's a really tough one, I think. Laws based on cultural values other than ethical ones aren't justice. Kind of agree. Kind of agree. Autonomy of body, like, let's talk about, um, like, female genital mutilation, right? Maybe that's not a good one, right? Maybe that's not a good one, but... There's a lot of laws that are based on cultural values that are not ethical. Autonomy of body extends... Extends? Extends. Extends. Even to minors, the mentally ill, and serious criminals. Autonomy of body. This is a tough one, right? Like I said, what if they are truly sick and need the state or someone to step in? What's autonomy of body? Like the fact that you have the determination to do what you want with your body, right? It's saying like, should kids be able to, should a kid be able to go and get a tattoo? Should the mentally ill be able to like have a driver's license or get a gun? Should serious criminals still have the right to um, move in next door? You know, should sex offenders have to alert people? This is a tough one. I think maybe kind of disagree. Like wearing a helmet on a motorcycle. I'm going to say kind of disagree, I guess. Submit. Let's see where I am on the old chart. Oh. I'm I'm right there. My X score is negative 6.6. .6, my Y score is 0.7. My progressive score is 9.9. .9. What does this mean? I'm a Neolib shill. Ben SW knew it. Hillary. Hillary. Hey, can we start any more wars in the Middle East, boys? This economy needs a boost. Ah, uh, right there in the middle. An enlightened centrist. Center left Andy. That's what they call me. Warhawk stands. Hey, let's get these production lines going, boys. The factories need more workers. I wonder what this looks like. I wonder... Can you... I want to see other famous people. Is there a way to compare my chart with other famous people? I'm very interested to see. Other politicians' compasses. Oh, yeah. Let's see where I land. Let's see where I land. Oh, now we're guacking. I am a bit of a Sanders. I'm farther left than Sanders and less authoritarian. Ah, okay, okay. Noam Chomsky really hated the government, huh? <laughs> Damn. You're basically Stalin when you look at it. Well, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say I'm a... Oh, you guys can't even see this. My face is behind it. I know you guys can't see. I'm trying my best here. There we go. Does that fix it? Can you guys kind of see it more? I can zoom in a little bit. Oh, now we see it. See? There you go. I fixed it. What do you mean by going to vote for him? The primary was in March. No, I voted for Bernie. I said I'm going to vote for Biden earlier. Wait, what did I say? Oh, I was going to vote for him if the in, if he won the primary. He did not win the primary. <laughs> so I cannot vote for him in the general. You know what I'm saying? In the in the major ele presidential election, I should say. Stans looks like a young Bernie. What does he do? Boo! You know the thing about Bernie scares you? Boo! Stans doesn't hate me because we disagree and that is pog on its own. Yeah, I, I don't hate people that disagree. I mean, unless you're... <laughs> Well, I don't know. There's like some things where I think that we, if we disagree on, I would definitely change my opinion as you. Like I talked a little bit about the human rights violations at the border, separating children, putting them in cages. If we disagree on that, we can't be friends. You know what I mean? I'm in the military currently and I stand by my vote. Yes, I'm voting for Trump again. Interesting. What is your favorite thing? Like what is like the, what are the highlights of term, of term one? I'm always interested to learn. Can I just say fuck all the people to the right on the political spectrum who had to go ahead and be racist and homophobic? None of that should be politicized, and I hate people assuming that about me because of my politics when they're just not true. Um, yeah, I think that's interesting. I also say fuck racists and sexists and homophobes and transphobes. I think the issue is when you find that, like, a political ideology, when you find that you're bedfellows with a lot of those people, 
Sometimes it means that there's like a common thread, right? And like, what about this political ideology makes it appealing for them? When you look at like conservatism and you look at like, talk about like the return to conservative values or family values, right? The dog whistle that like the America of the past, like 1950s America is the perfect way to run the country. And the fact that in the 1950s, it was even worse racially and sexually uh, for, you know, uh, minorities, for women, for tons of people. And so like, that's like the concern where it's like, it's easy to say that like, hey, I'm a conservative that is not a homophobe or a sexist, but it's like, hey, a lot of their talking points are those, which is I think why a lot of people went farther to the Tea Party and a lot of people actually went to like the middle. In fact, I would say a lot of the Democratic candidates are like, <laughs> are like center right, <laughs> you know, or like, uh, are like the left side of the right. If you look at like the Hillary's of the world, like they're, they're pretty conservative generally. Thoughts on Trump? I think he's a terrible president. Really, Biden is a pedo. Have you seen the picture of him kissing kids? Yeah, it's actually terrifying. He like rubs their shoulders and stuff. Oh, I hate it. I actually hate it. All right, Trump's a pedo too. Like going backstage, watching young girls change at his, uh, at his stuff. That's that's terrible. <laughs> if Biden is actually a pedo, I will not vote for him. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How does it feel to have fucked me? Uh, how did I fuck you? You have to update your game. Why? Because you're the version that's mismatched. The patch came out 10 minutes I ago. I asked you if I should exit desktop. You said no. You told me no. How does it feel to fuck me? Yeah, get fucking Shapiro, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> okay. I don't like political stands at all. <laughs>